Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to download, extract, and install HFX files from the DClick Video FX website. I love the DClick website and I've been learning from it for years. My problem is I have a leaky memory and I spend long periods of time in between my efforts to video edit. DClick gets me excited and I dive in, but over time my hardware and software changes and I get confused and more likely than not I fail to get the HFX files installed properly. Plus I have difficulty with English, my first language and my only language <laughs> and the French translation. I'm not complaining, only stating facts. I love the French. Vive la France. Vous y, merci beaucoup, Lafayette. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to the website and download the HFZ file that you want. Okay, here you see that I have one. 168 page turner. So the instructions on the site say all you have to do is double click this after you go in and turn off the user account control but as you probably know there is no way to turn off the user account control what you can do is you can set it to never or you can set it to always but there is no on off switch so you set it to never and click OK now the next thing you're going to have to do is to reset your computer, restart it, so I'll do that and be back in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and did that. I think it's important to do, although maybe with my workaround it's not necessary, but you see here it is, never notify. So that has been turned off. So now all you have to do is double click on this file right here which should extract and install the HFZ files. Double click on it and look what's happening. Stop that immediately. Cancel. I don't know why that's happening. It doesn't happen on my laptop. It only happens on my desktop, but it is a real big pain. So here is my workaround. What I do is I go to my documents Public Documents, Pinnacle, Content, Hollywood FX. Now I'm in that folder and what I find there is a file called Install HFZ. Now this is an old file, D-Click Video puts out new ones from time to time and you probably should use the new one. There's a whole instructions on how to do that. I'm not sure I have the new one, if I have the old one, they're all the same name. All I know is, all I have to do now is go back over here where the HFX file is, or Z file is, and take it and drop it on the install HFZ application. And voila, it's installed the HF X file along with its two objects that it needed. Beautiful. Done. No hassles. Just take it and drop it on there. That double click and put in Pinnacle 16 and all that crap is gone. So what happened? Well what happened was if you look into this effects folder we will now look and look under deck video, the click video, if I open that up, and you'll see 168 page turning right there that came from this file. It put it in there, uh, which everything is fine now, except for one thing, and that is Studio 16 is not going to recognize that as a transition, and it will not show up under the uh, transition tree like it would like you want it to. In order for that to happen, you have to download and extract a file from DClick again. 
I know, real catchy name, but that's the folder you're looking for on their website. You download it to your desktop, you extract all the files in it, and you'll end up with a folder like this. Inside this folder are 380 XML files, a graphic file, and a batch file called install. This is what's going to install these uh, the transition into your Studio 16 so Studio 16 can see it as a transition. But I have a big problem with this file. It's the way I interpret things and I'm making this video to help you not do that. So here we go. Double click on it and let's see what happens. Say run, fine. Now the first thing that pops up is this DOS window, command window, whatever they call it nowadays. And it says that Avid Studio and or Studio 16 software will be installed, will be opened. Well, it's, there's no or about it. If you have Avid Studio on your computer and you have Studio 16 on your computer, like I do, I don't use Avid, but it's just there. It, this will install these XML files in both of them as soon as you press any key to continue. So we do that now and bingo it extracts these 380 files and now it says it's opening Avid Studio. Well it's not opening Avid Studio it's waiting for you to press any key. So you have to press any key and then it will open Avid Studio. This is not what always happens but this is what happens now. Press any key and I wait for Avid Studio to open. And here it goes. So one of the first things that happens here to me, uh, usually late at night when I've had a few glasses of wine, is that this Avid Studio will open up and completely block out the, uh, the DOS window, the command window. And so I don't know what the heck is happening. And usually I mess up. So you have to make sure that's visible. And here it says that Avid Studio changed its transitions. Well, it hasn't. It is changing them, but it hasn't changed them. Of course, this being DOS, there's no graphics, no progress bar. So the, the person who wrote the bat file very nicely put in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, telling you how long it's taking. It would have been nice for a sentence here to say, Please wait approximately 50 seconds until all the transitions have been changed. But if you hit the uh, space bar or X this thing out, before that happened, you just, the thing would crash and nothing will happen. So now it says it's done. It's not really. In a few seconds, it will update. You have to wait for those few seconds. Once again, what happens is if I press this key, any key to continue, Avid will instantly shut down and as soon as it shuts down it's no longer will take in that transition album thing. So you have to wait for about another 50 seconds. Where's my clock? Here it is. And uh, to Avid to go. Now I don't care about Avid so I'm going to hit the key right now and I don't care if that transition gets in there or not. I'll tell you the truth. It just did uh, but I didn't care about it. So I'm going to hit the uh, continue button now. Uh, first you have to make sure you're on the uh, command window and now hit the uh, any key. Now it's saying it's going to open Studio 16. It's opening it. No it's not opening it. Not until I hit it again. And make sure it's highlighted and now it's opening it. So you see those are the things that I used to get confused with. I would wait for this thing to happen and end up Xing out the uh, program, which was not a good thing to do. But here we go. Avid 16 open right on top of my command window. Bring the command window back. And let me show you some things here. Make sure it's in, in here. There's the 10 seconds. We have to wait the 50 seconds again. Uh, while it's changing it, hasn't done it yet, even though it says it's changed. Uh, look over here, this is 16 transitions, 
you see I do have some user uh, transitions here this is them but you don't see 168 there now look they just disappeared that's because this bat file is in there installing those XML files now it says it's done but it's not done because look there's nothing over here don't hit that key right now or this thing won't work right you have to wait maybe another 30 or 40 seconds with my clock not doing me a lot of good and when it is done you'll see that the user transitions will come back and 168 will be among my user transitions bingo it just happened let's go to here make sure we can see it make sure it's on the screen not only are those back to where they were before but number 168 is there now it's done and now press any key to continue if I would have pressed that key before or X this thing out without waiting all that time this would never had worked I do that instantly it closes and that's the problem with pressing any key those bat uh, files have total control of the machine when it says close it's going to close well I hope this did you some good uh, you can review it and uh, thanks for watching